2025 is finally here and it's going to be amazing. This past year, we saw a lot of innovation in the world of hearing loss and tinnitus that should have you pretty excited. So I'm going to take a few minutes to discuss all the positives that we had coming out of 2024 and some of the negatives, as well as the things that I'm excited about here in 2025. Okay, so in 2024, we had some pretty amazing new hearing aid releases. We had the Widex Moment SmartRick, we had the Phonak Audio Sphere Infineo hearing aids, as well as the new Starkey Edge AI hearing aids. When it comes to hearing better in background noise, the hearing aids that we'll have going in into 2025 will be better than we've ever had before. This is in large part due to artificial intelligence in the form of deep neural networks for digital sound processing, which is now becoming the industry standard. Now, if you're interested in finding out about all of the best hearing aid technologies as we enter into 2025, I highly recommend that you check out my video series talking about the best hearing aids in 2025 that I'll have linked down in the description. We also saw a lot of progression in the newest form of Bluetooth called Bluetooth LE Audio along with AuraCast. Now, if you have not yet heard about Bluetooth LE audio and AuraCast, get ready because this new wireless streaming technology will completely blow your mind. I don't have enough time to talk about this technology in this video, but I do have other videos on my channel if you want to check those out as well. I'll also say that rechargeable battery hearing aid technology is really starting to take hold here in 2025 due to better reliability of lithium ion battery technology, as well as longer battery life using this technology to the point where you can feel comfortable ditching all of your disposable batteries. If you have tinnitus and you've been paying attention to all of the different tinnitus treatments that are becoming available, you've probably heard about the Lanier tinnitus treatment device that uses bimodal neuromodulation. Based on the research data that we now have, bimodal neuromodulation using Lanier could be the most significant step forward that we have ever had when it comes to treating tinnitus. Now for the adults with perceived mild to moderate hearing loss, of course I'm going to talk a little bit about over-the-counter hearing aids. For you adults out there with perceived mild to moderate hearing loss, we also saw a significant step forward by Apple with the release of their new hearing aid feature inside of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 thanks to the new iOS 18.1 update. Not only did this update turn your AirPods Pro 2 into legitimate over-the-counter hearing aids, it also gives you a new hearing protection feature just in case you're in noisy situations and you want to save your hearing. For those of you out there who have chronic earwax related issues, you now have more options than ever before to get rid of the earwax from the comfort of your own home. I'm personally a fan of using products like Earwax MD to soften your earwax and then flushing the earwax out of your ears using an irrigation system that you can typically purchase on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a few of my favorite irrigation devices down in the comment section of this video if you want to check them out for yourself. But 2024 was not all positive, there were a few setbacks that we had. First and foremost, my clinic applied hearing solutions in Phoenix, Arizona flooded at the beginning of the year thanks to a water heater from our neighboring unit that flooded into our space. This was like the worst situation ever imaginable, but we did end up recovering from the flood and we finished finished off the year really strong. However, another thing that happened that was significantly worse than my clinic flooding, and that is the passage of Reese's Law, which basically made it impossible for individuals with hearing loss to get into a pack of disposable batteries. Now, I get the premise of the law that made these batteries really hard to get out of their packaging because it was intended to protect children from actually ingesting these batteries, which can be deadly. You literally needed scissors and a significant amount of strength to get into this new package. Now, I am not kidding when I say that a lot of older individuals with finger dexterity issues will not be able to get a new battery out of one of these packages, which will render their disposable battery hearing aids completely useless. Now, I'm all for protecting children because I do not want them ingesting any of these button cell batteries, but not at the expense of older individuals who have difficulty hearing. I do believe that there has to be a better compromise than an impossible to open battery pack. So it's a really good thing that we have a lot of rechargeable battery hearing aids that are out there. Otherwise, these individuals with poor finger dexterity would be totally screwed. Another negative thing about 2024 is that we didn't really see any significant advancements in a cure for hearing loss. Since Frequency Therapeutics shut down the research and development of their FX322 and FX345 molecular drug therapies, we really haven't seen any newsworthy research going into the cure for hearing loss. While I do believe that we'll eventually have either a molecular therapy, a genetic therapy, or a stem cell therapy that will restore hair cell function inside of the cochlea, we really didn't see any significant advancements over the course of 2024. And other than Apple releasing their new hearing aid feature inside of the Apple AirPods Pro 2, we really haven't seen any significant progress in the world of over-the-counter hearing aids. If anything, the only thing that over-the-counter hearing aids have really done to move the needle
needle at all is getting people into prescription hearing aids sooner due to the lack of performance capabilities of these OTC devices. But enough about the positives and negatives of 2024, I want to get into some of the things I'm excited about when it comes to 2025, the first thing being eyeglass hearing aids. Now I spent a lot of time over the course of 2024 tracking the progress of these new eyeglass hearing aids from Essilor Luxata's Nuance Audio team. While these combination eyeglass hearing aids are technically over-the-counter hearing aids, they do have one specific goal, which is to help you hear better in background noise by using a directional microphone array. To be quite honest, even though these are over-the-counter hearing aids, I am expecting them to perform better than some of the other OTC devices on the market, and you may be even able to pair them up with a pair of prescription hearing aids to hear even better in a noisy situation. I am hopeful that we will see this technology hit the market in early 2025, and yes, I am going to hold my breath for that. I am also excited to see Bluetooth LE Audio and AuraCast to make a significant jump forward here in 2025 when it comes to accessibility and availability. For hearing aid users to get the full benefit of Bluetooth LE Audio and AuraCast, we have to have other wireless devices that are compatible with this technology. This includes smartphones, tablets, and laptops, to name a few. AuraCast Broadcast Audio also requires public venues to get AuraCast transmitters to stream the audio of these public venues directly into your hearing aids that have AuraCast enabled. And that is something I am expecting to see roll out here in 2025, even though we will not have full adoption of this technology for another couple of years. I'm also excited to roll out my new modern tinnitus brand that will bring high quality tinnitus treatment to individuals across the United States. Expect to see modern tinnitus specialty centers popping up across the United States over the course of 2025, and you can find these clinics by going to moderntinnitus.co. Of course, the Hearing Up Network continues to grow year over year since I started it back in 2019. This network of vetted hearing care professionals are committed to following comprehensive audiologic best practices to ensure that you can hear your absolute best with your hearing aids. In 2024, we even expanded the network to Australia, which has seen a significant growth in high quality hearing health care. If we're lucky, in 2025, the Hearing Up Network will expand even more, bringing more high-quality hearing health care to individuals across the world. I am going to be keynote speaking at several international conferences over the course of 2025, and you should see the rollout of some vlog videos from those conferences. And last but not least, I am extremely excited to continue treating hearing loss in my clinic here in Phoenix, Arizona. I often say that individuals who want low-cost treatment are completely covered. They can go to a variety of different places to try to save as much money as possible, when it comes to their hearing health care. But the individuals who are out there that want to receive the highest quality hearing health care possible, it is extremely difficult for these individuals to find a really good clinic. So here in 2025, I'm extremely committed to continuing the tradition of bringing high quality hearing health care to my local community. And honestly, this would not be possible without the excellent staff that I have inside of my clinic. I'm confident that we train harder than any other clinic in the entire world in order to bring our patients the highest quality hearing health care possible. That way, if I start 2025 off on the wrong foot and I get hit by a bus in the parking lot over here, all the patients who come see us inside of our clinic will still be taken very well care of. And last but not least, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me over the course of 2024, and hopefully you'll stick with me over the course of 2025, because there's some amazing things on the horizon. And if you do nothing else, just make sure that you make a New Year's resolution for here in 2025 to make this year your best year of hearing ever.